Hey class, I'm gonna show you how to paint your uh, barn quilt. In this case, it's a flag that I designed. Now these these three, these four areas, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna paint that in a blue. So I'm, I've got a blue that I've got picked out. But what I'm gonna do first though, is I'm gonna seal the tape. So which means I'm gonna paint a really light coat of the, the same paint that's on the background here, which is in this big gallon here. And I'm gonna take a pretty soft bristled brush, like this one, and I'm just gonna seal that lightly. So you can just see here, just kind of brush a real little bit on here. Just kind of brush that on just a little bit, a light, a light coating, just a light coating like that. I'm going to use a blow dryer just to speed up the drying here so then I can put my blue paint over the top of that once that dry. It shouldn't take too long because I did a very, a very light coating. Okay, it's now dry and I'm ready to paint uh, some blue paint on. Make sure you stir this paint up. I have a little popsicle stick you can use to stir that up. Uh, and then once again, I'm going to use this soft bristled wider brush. Uh, to start painting that. So once again, I'm always going to paint not into the tape. I'm always going to paint away from the tape. That way you don't get any paint going underneath your tape. Okay. Now this might require two coats. So uh, it, that's fine. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Probably won't have one thorough coat right off the bat, but you can put, uh, you know, once again, paint uh, one coat, let it dry, nice smooth strokes, okay? And then what I'll do is I will uh, let that dry and then I'll paint my second coat over the top of that. Or, or else I can speed it up also with the, um, with the hair dryer. All right, this is my favorite part. Um, I've got the paint, uh, I put my second coat on and I'm ready to take the tape off. This is fun because I feel like this is like uh, Christmas here. I get to see if my, what my presents are here, how it's gonna turn out. So here I go, I'm gonna peel that tape off and uh, I'm gonna set that right in the garbage can. I have a garbage can handy right there. And looks like I took a little bit of the previous paint off the bottom, that's okay. I'm gonna be putting some white over the top of that. So you can see I got some pretty neat edges. That's what I'm looking for is really precise, perfect edging on this. And it looks like I'm getting it. So here we go. Let's get that off. I, it's also probably good to have a paint smock on or something because you're going to pull this tape off and you might swipe it against your clothes. So let's we'll see what happens here. Oh, yeah, this is turning out pretty nice. You can see that these stripes are pretty precise now. Once again, I told you I will be painting over on the white again because this pulled some of the white paint off. And look at that. Look how neat that is right now. Now last, before you try painting here and here and here, I'm going to be taping over the top of the blue. So make sure that this is thoroughly dry because you don't want to put tape on the blue and then pull the tape off and you've pulled some of your blue paint off. So this has got to be thoroughly dry, but once again, I'll be moving around in areas. Here's an area here. This is going to be red with a white star. So I'm going to be taping off that star, okay, uh, and then take an X-Acto knife and trim it out. And then what I'm going to do is uh, paint the red over here in this area. But once again, make sure this other stuff's really dry before you do that.